Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It is Thursday and Charlie and I just got home from the dog park. I wanted to show you some of his buddies that he plays with. Uh, I'd say about three to four times a week we try to stop by there. It's not only good for him to get out energy, but I also get a little bit of fresh air and socialization as well. Isn't that funny? We go to the dog park for me, I swear. But anyways, we are home. We're actually in a winter weather advisory today. It's snowing pretty good out. Luckily, the wind hasn't really picked up. That's when it gets really dangerous. So as long as you drive careful, we're fine. I'm expecting the kids, they're at school right now. I'm expecting them to get out early today. Just waiting for that phone call that says, yep, we're getting out. So anyways, we've been expecting this snow, which is unfortunate for our new house. Hopefully they're all still there. But knowing that this snow is coming, I've been really saving a lot of these things around the house that I need to get done. Packing, oh my gosh, I need to get started packing. And so much laundry. I'm also planning to wash our bed, which is why I have not made it yet today. But yeah, so much laundry, so much laundry and a lot of packing. I really don't even know where I wanna start at this point because it's a little bit overwhelming. This will be the last time I wash bedding here. It still does not seem real, but it needs to get done. So let's do this. It is an extra cup of coffee day, so cheers to that. While I was stripping the bed, I made the decision that today I'm going to basically pack up all of my home decor. As much as I feel like that is a necessity when we move in, it definitely is not, so that is something I can easily pack up now and we'll be okay. We have a very unique moving situation plan. It is going to be interesting to see how it all plays out. But my dad is actually going to come and bring us a covered trailer. It's not a very big one. I told him we don't need a big one. Um, but to at least get a lot of these larger items out of here, they would fit in my Suburban in the back, which is how I got them all here. But it's just going to be so much easier to just get it all out in one shot instead of me making multiple trips. And so he's going to bring us a covered trailer Sunday. We're going to load up all of the larger items. So the table, the chairs, uh, the coat, what is this thing called? The hall tree thing that the kids hang their coats on. The coffee table. Uh, Macy has like her makeup vanity that she got for Christmas. So those larger items, we're going to be moving those out on Sunday. And I think what we're going to do is actually just go put them in my father-in-law's storage unit until we need to bring them over to the new house. We really just, with the house not being 100% done, we don't want to move in everything because we don't need it right away and it's just easier to wait until they're completely done. We just wanna get the necessities into the house. So these things are not things that we need right away. So we're gonna put those in storage. The nice thing is that the storage unit is very close to our new house, like not even a mile away. So it'll be really easy when we do want to bring it over to just go get it. So that's going to take care of a lot of the larger items. So I definitely want to clear those off today and have those ready to go. We're going to be out of town for a couple of days in between there for gymnastics. And so just trying to prepare for that now. Never mind the suitcases here. We just left them along the wall from Arizona since we're going to be needing them next week anyways. But I'm actually considering leaving a few things behind, a couple of kitchen items that I like thrifted and I feel like this house just really needs as a good Airbnb. And then also this corner shelf. I'm also considering leaving. It just works so well in that corner and I'm really not planning to use it. Uh, when we move, so I think I might leave that here. What do we think of that? I'll take my decor, but leave the shelf. I don't know. I'm undecided, but I'm leaning towards leaving that here for them.
I just rotated laundry and I have been meaning to mention this. I don't know that I ever have as long as we have been staying here, but one of the things I will most appreciate after living here at the new house is being able to open the washing machine door all the way. Right now, it is so tight getting items into the washing machine and then pulling them out. I mean, and talk about a tight squeeze when you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, that is something I will not miss. I saw you checking out what I was wearing. Oh my gosh, don't judge me, it's laundry day. And it is time to get to work. First, I want to make the bed. I packed away all my decorative pillows, but we still need somewhere to sleep for the next week. I'm going to be packing away our flannel sheets. I'm hot just thinking about them. I haven't been able to get comfortable at night. I've been so hot lately. And that's probably part of the reason why I haven't been sleeping very good. So I'm ready to say goodbye to those until next winter. I'm over winter. Goodness, I'm so sick of snow and no school and just being stuck at home. But can you tell I'm like ready for spring? Oh my gosh. So anyways, I'm going to be putting on my Brooklyn and sheets. So a big thank you to Brooklyn and for sponsoring today's video. They actually have their big sleep week sale going on right now where you could save 20% off. I'll have a link to the sale down below in the description box. I have the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. It includes the core sheet set, which is the fitted, the flat, and two pillowcases, the duvet cover, and then also it comes with two extra pillowcases as well. Mine's in the color cream, but I'm hoping to score the white here soon so I have another basic one to rotate out with. We really love our Brooklinen bedding and when I get into bed at night, I can honestly say I can feel the quality in these sheets. Even after I was done recording this video and my husband got in bed, he, he goes, ooh, are these new sheets? Like, I had forgotten about it, you know? But I'm like, yes, they are. And he's like, wow, these feel really good. But anyways, nice bedding can be really hard to find. I'm a big review person and I, I mean, it's really hard. And high quality bedding is also super expensive. But with Brooklinen, they give you that quality and comfort at an affordable price and you cannot beat it when it is on sale, especially during the sleep week sale. But the Lux Sateen sheets are one of their best sellers and also our favorite. They are a 480 thread count and have that slightly luminous finish to them. The sateen in it is more tightly woven and heavier, making it warmer and also buttery soft. It's one of those that's ideal for that year-round comfort. So I have the Lux Hardcore Bundle which typically costs around $200, but comparable luxury brands are, I mean, up to that $500 range, it's crazy. I love that you could mix and match from over 20 different colors and patterns that really fits the style and decor of your space. They also have comforter options for the duvets as well. I am using the all season weight, but they also have the option for a lightweight or an ultra warm available as well. We've had a lot of sheets in the past, but our Brooklyn and sheets are by far the most comfortable ones we have ever owned. This is very, very minimal for me. Usually I have, you all know, like eight pillows, a big blanket, a tray, a plant, a candle, but most of that stuff is already packed. I have my Euro pillows, but I'm going to get those all packed up and ready for the move. So bare minimum but it's really nice. I can't wait to sleep in it tonight. My husband's actually, he's out of town until later tonight. He'll be driving back. The roads are okay from what he's told me. And so once the kids go to bed, I'm coming straight in here just to relax for the evening. I'm skipping the living room altogether. But anyways, I'll have that Brooklyn in link down below in the description box. Definitely check out their sleep week sale.
Okay. Uh, how about a four-piece nugget Happy Meal? Okay. With ranch, extra fries, and chocolate milk. Roads are not too bad, so I think they might actually stay in school all day, but I'm in the McDonald's drive through I'm actually going to go eat lunch with the twins, so I'm picking them up some Happy Meals. I'm kind of a hot mess. I'm trying to look presentable before I head into the school. My makeup is all over the place. We're just gonna work with it. I know the kids don't care. But anyways, I have like 10 minutes before I need to head in to get their lunch. You know, sometimes McDonald's are like super fast. And, but most of the time it takes forever. Well, of course they're super fast today, but that's okay. So yeah, I'm just, I'm a hot mess lately. I have been exhausted exhausted the past I would say I mean I haven't slept good in months but more so just lately I have not had a good night's rest in a week I have been waking up so I'll go to bed I'll usually lay in bed about 8 30 and I'll fall asleep pretty quickly because I'm just so tired but nine o'clock is my usual bedtime and then I wake up at five every morning that's my typical ideal um, sleep schedule but lately I've been waking up at midnight and I cannot fall back asleep. So I will just like things running through my head, mainly with the new house, um, but just like second guessing everything and just, you know, just stressed really and worrying about things that I can't control and I just have not slept. So I'll wake up at midnight and can't fall back asleep till like 4 a.m. and then of course my alarm goes off at five. So I have just been so tired looking forward to some good night's rest hopefully that will go away once we get settled in i don't know i don't know i've always kind of struggled with sleep i've never been a good sleeper so yeah hot mess express crystal tara here <laughs> but what else okay so after i eat lunch with the boys i am going to head over to the house and just check in I actually have a mirror in my trunk to deliver it's the last mirror of the bathroom vanities i'm hoping they'll be installing those here maybe even tomorrow and just to check in, they have made some wonderful progress this week. It's true, it's gonna come down to the wire uh, as far as everything that's getting done. But the fireplace, they were yesterday about halfway done with the brick on the fireplace. So I'm thinking they're still going to be working on it today. It's just, it's a big mess when they are in there doing like the mortar and all of that. It's a disaster. So once that is done, I feel like it's going to start feeling like okay it's starting to look like we can move in here because right now no the basement and the upstairs on the other hand they are pretty much done uh it's just a matter of getting those cleaned so yeah we'll check in on the fireplace i'll give you a sneak i'm going to show you the basement fireplace which is the same brick as what we're doing in the main floor but um i only did it uh I didn't go up all the way there. You'll see what I'm talking about, but you'll get a peek of that. It turned out so, so good. One of the nights I lost sleep was when they first installed the brick. Uh, the mortar was gray and I was really envisioning white. And I'm like, is that gonna dry lighter? And they're like, well, maybe a little bit. And so I was kind of, I wasn't freaking out, but I'm like, gosh, it's just not what I was anticipating it to look like but each day it has gotten lighter and yesterday when I was there it gets a thumbs up I actually really really like it now it did lighten up quite a bit so those are the things I just lose sleep over every small detail I don't know it's it's so fun to build a house <laughs> One of the guys there, the guy who was a, uh, laying the carpet, he's like, would you ever build a house again? And I'm like, yeah, I probably would, as sick as that sounds, because it's such a roller coaster, I would, I would do it again in a heartbeat because I love this stuff. I love all things home, even as stressful and emotional and as uh, all the ups and downs, I would totally do it again, although I don't know that we will. We plan to live in this house. I think we were talking like, 20 to 30 years. We're gonna be here. Uh-oh, it's the school calling. Hello? Oh, they're getting out early. Okay, so they are getting out early. I actually didn't think it was too bad out, but you, with where we live, this is turning into a little bit of a, a chatty vlog, but with where we live, you have to worry about the kids who live out in the country and some of those like more rural, can't even say that, like roads and stuff and the buses, so. 
shoot, that kind of ruins the plans of going to the house, although I'm still going to go. They'll just have to ride along with me after I collect all the children, so. Hmm. That changes my plans a little bit. I'm here at the house and I actually just had a text. Please call me when you can. I'm like, oh no. What has gone wrong now? <laughs> That's usually when they call, something is wrong. So we'll see what's going on. It looks like everybody's here though, for the most part. Um, cleaning lady was supposed to start today. I don't see her vehicle. And I also don't see closet installer either. So we'll see. I'm making memories though. I'm gonna lug this mirror uphill in the snow. <laughs> Looks like our bathroom is almost done. They just hung the mirrors up. I think I got the perfect size. These were the most difficult to figure out. They were an odd size, but it's exactly what I wanted. That almost that slim black frame. Oh, it looks so good. about to leave and head back home. There's our garage doors. Those went in a couple days ago. Great timing right before all the snow came. It's starting to feel more like we could actually move in next week. If you would have asked me two days ago, I'd have said no, it's not happening. But today they made so much progress. It's amazing what they can do in one day. So yeah, they think they're gonna be finished with the fireplace tomorrow. Uh, a lot more trim has gone up. It's just starting to feel like our home. It was really cool to see the mirrors hung in our bathroom. I'm guessing he's probably gonna work on the rest later this afternoon. That's why he called me. He wanted to know which mirrors go where. So I walked him through that. So no big issues, that's good. Um, the cleaning lady, she was here working in the basement. I couldn't go down there to talk to her though because they were installing the stairs. Uh, the flooring on the stairs, so I didn't want to walk all over what they were working on. So yeah, I couldn't go downstairs to actually record the fireplace and share it with you, but I did take some pictures yesterday when I stuck down there, so I'll insert that here. Absolutely love it. And then the living room one is basically just like a bigger version of that in no ship lab. So I think I'm going to head home now. I have lots of laundry ahead of me, but just stopping here really motivated me to, to get packing. But I think I might go outside with the kids to play. Isn't It's just all white, isn't it? I can't tell if it's snowing. I'm sure it is. But I mean, you really have no idea what is going on just by looking out. It's just pure white out, so. We're gonna go outside and play, and then it's going to be time for dinner already. This day has gotten away from me, especially with the kids getting out of school early, but I've been working on laundry uh, and getting a bunch of that done, so that feels good. Tomorrow's Friday, and I have no plans other than just to stay home and pack and fold more laundry and basically do the same thing as I'm doing today. It is now Friday and I've been plugging away on all the things, laundry specifically. I think I'm up to three loads of kids clothes that still need to get folded. I'm saving them all and doing it in one shot here later this afternoon. It's a exciting Friday for sure. And then I've also been in gathering mode, collecting all kinds of things that we can do, um, make do without for a little under a week now. It's going to go into storage and then I think we'll probably try to get all of the storage unit cleared out by the end of March. At least that's my goal. We'll see. Like I said, everything is chaos at this point and who knows what's all going to happen. Maybe it won't even be there for that long. I don't know. 
but I do know we have lots of family willing to help us, so it will more than likely be at our house before we know it. So anyways, I'm going to make a load here and go to the house. I have a long list to talk to the contractor about. It's just really a lot of logistical questions about how is this gonna happen? Are we going to be able to use this and all of that? So, and then there's some other questions and details too that we just need to talk through. So anyways, just wanna say thank you so much for joining me for this super chatty video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. Next, uh, my next video, hopefully be some more house updates and there'll probably be one last final vlog here at the cabin i'll share everything basically cleared out and set back up the way it was when we originally moved in but thank you so much for watching don't forget to check out that brooklyn and link down below in the description box and i'll see you in the next one bye